Hello Americans, this is Kevin Stoner. I'm on the porch uh, talking to you about things that are important in our world. Sometimes we don't have a sense of victory. We've got a lot of stress with uh, coronavirus. We've got the economy in the tank and we've got um, a president who doesn't need to be president. And um, I'd like to though share today 10 top victories. I got this in a letter from the Food uh, Wa and Water Watch people. Um, they've got these great uh, success stories. And uh, they shared with me, thanks to you and our more than 1 million supporters. We can win when we stand together and demand what we need. Healthy food to eat, safe water to drink, and clean renewable energy system to power our lives and to protect the planet. We know this because uh, working with you, grassroots allies, and concerned people everywhere, we've already had some huge successes. Uh, success number one, food and water. Watch helped spark the national movement to ban fracking. In 2011, we were the first national group to call for an outright ban on this dangerous method of extracting fossil fuels by big oil and gas companies such as Exxon. More than 600 resolutions against fracking have been passed around the country. We need some here in Missouri, uh, where especially the poorest people and uh, people actually all over the state uh, suffer from bad water and, and fracking. Uh, number two success, also related to fracking, is more than drilling. Fracking is more than drilling. It is also a vast network of pipelines, um, transportation hubs, and export-import terminals that are being built and proposed around the country. Uh, we've played a leadership role in stopping the Constitution Pipeline, the Pilgrim Pipeline, and the Williams Transco Pipelines in New York and New Jersey and we are organizing to help local people protect themselves across the country and to protect uh, water sources that cross state lines from dangerous fracking infrastructure. Well, that's great. We need to really put uh, solar panels on everybody's roof and uh, stop this fracking. It's my opinion. What's your opinion? Okay. Uh, Food and Water Watch and Grassroots Allies in California won a ballot measure in 2016 to ban fracking in the nation's solid bowl in Monterey County, the first oil producing county in the country to ban frack fracking. We waged intense multi-year grassroots campaigns also this uh, in New York and Maryland and Washington State in 2014, 2017, and 2019 uh, that won statewide bans on fracking in those states. So when will it be Missouri? When will it be Kansas? After winning a ban on arsenic drugs and poultry feed in Maryland in 2012, we successfully convinced the FDA to make the ban national when it withdrew its appro approval for arsenic drugs being used in animal feed. And of course, Donald Trump probably wants to stick that back in, a little more arsenic in our animal feed. Number six, we took on Monsanto and Big Egg and won GMO labeling laws in Connecticut, Maine, and Vermont. We should have GMO labeling laws everywhere. I know that uh, probably most people aren't adversely affected in this generation, but we don't know how many generations down the line it will be built up a mess in our country and our health. Um, number seven, we helped dozens of communities across the country keep public control of their local waterway, water systems and are fighting to keep our essential water resources managed in the public interest, not for corporate profits. Yeah, the big uh, push ever since uh, T. Boone Pickens invested in water in Texas uh, has been to privatize our water and to make our economy more messed up than ever. Um, number eight, we helped get the United Nations and the state of California to declare a human right to water and we have worked alongside communities like Flint, Michigan to ensure affordable, clean drinking water for all becomes a reality. Michigan should pa uh, pass a human right for water too, I think. Uh, Missouri, where I live, should too, should as well. Uh, number nine, we launched campus-based and ca grassroots campaigns that are exposing the environment, health, and equity problems. Um, related to bottled water industry. 
Uh, we help win the bans on bottled water sales on college campuses and stop the giant water corporation Nestle from bottling local water supplies. They're probably bottling yours. I saw it down in Texas, big companies. Number 10, uh, we fought off efforts by Big Egg to weaken key meat inspection rules and helped prevent federal budget cuts that threaten food safety. Again, uh, Trump is doing a lot of things that aren't off the record. Uh, he's doing it on the presidential executive order branch and he's telling people administratively to do certain things. Uh, but at least we've get, gotten Congress out of the uh, uh, Make Our Water Dirtier Club to some degree. Uh, they say thanks for joining with Food and Water Watch. Together we will win a healthy, sustainable future for our families and generations to come. This is one organization that works uh, with American tribes, and I would suggest um, you join it. And uh, any other uh, uh, groups such as the Defense Council uh, for Agriculture and um, our, natural, our uh, national parks. We as Americans uh, need to see water as a human right, and our government's job should be to make sure we have access to water. Uh, we don't need it for all the big swimming pools in California where people are currently uh, out having big parties and spreading COVID-19, uh, but generally people need water uh, every day of their lives. Not generally, actually, every day of their lives. Uh, any comments on this topic about water uh, and land? Uh, underneath uh, where I live, we used to be mining. This is uh, the Missouri side of Kansas City, but both sides, Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, there was a lot of mining. I just came back from Joplin, Missouri. There's a lot of uh, mining uh, there dating back 150 years. And uh, all these places have uh, uh, issues with water. And I would say that uh, the government's job of infrastructure shouldn't be building highways and just spending money on supporting companies uh, that produce petroleum and store petroleum and uh, creating transportation and transportation infrastructure for uh, big oil and big egg. Uh, we should be investing in good uh, water for everybody and good land use policies. Uh, there shouldn't be these huge farms. My brother lives out in Western Kansas. Uh, they measure their farms by miles out there. They don't measure them by acres anymore. Something's out of sync here. Uh, they depend on uh, foreign labor, uh, foreign born labor, immigrants, uh, legal and illegal to work their uh, slaughterhouses out there. And you know that's not good for the groundwater. Uh, and it's not good for our, our overall development here in America. We need to have a diversified economy. We need to have a green economy. We need to have a water and land that our children can enjoy. Um, we need to reduce climate change and uh, depending on fracking to provide more gas and fuels for the air uh, and for uh, continued dependence on big oil is not what our future should be about. I'm concerned about the life of my daughter over the next 20, 30 years, she should be seeing a great change in our economy. We should be investing a lot more in uh, resources that make uh, our world sustainable. And water and land are the areas where sustainability should be first, but are, they're related fully to our economy. I uh, pray that you guys are okay. Give this channel a thumbs up for bringing up the topic and get involved with an organization like Food and Water Watch or others to help your community. Thank you for listening and please subscribe to this channel. This is Kevin Stoda signing off on the porch.